Okay, our first um, our first negative we're gonna look at is ayao, ayao, right? Ayao, two syllables. This negative is commonly used as an imperative. Okay, that's why you probably hear it a lot because it's an imperative most often of times. However, it can also be used as just a regular verb, and the examples I have are on below. This is gonna be just part one of however many parts there are because, again, this whole negative series is gonna be long, so brace yourselves. Io is expressed as a verb as not want. As a regular verb, if we're not talking about an imperative or in um, a command form, we just know it as not want, okay? But if we want to, or rejection, right? If we want to, uh, express it as an imperative next to these asterisks, it's going to be as a do not or don't or stop, okay? Um, and then you'll see that through further examples in another video or so or something like that, right? IL can also be used with adjectives. Um, and as we talked about, adjectives act like verbs, right? State of, uh, state of verbs, verbs of motion, verbs of changes of state, verbs of state, verbs of... Um, did I say emotion? Verbs of emotion? Verbs of whatever, right? They are, they're all considered of like adjectives, things that can be described as whatever, right? Um, in English, we know them as the to be blah, 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 to be blah, 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 to be blah, 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 right? To be red, to be sad, to be happy, to be, to be green, to be heavy, to be light. Those are, things are like adjectives, right? To be something, something in English, just for the reference. How do we know um, what I out is going to be used with well it expresses the trigger um it expresses and triggers non-focus so keep that in mind this is important not foc non-focus so if you th think of the non-focus you should already be thinking in your head okay i'm thinking ergativity the og and sa family of markers straight off the bat and it's said to the second person singular or second person plural right well, that makes sense because if you're going to be using it as an imperative, who are you gonna who are you gonna command somebody to? Are you gonna command something to yourself? Are you gonna command something somebody to not do something? Are you gonna command um, a group of people to not do something? Are you gonna are you gonna command you know yourself included with other people to not do something? So that's why it's important to discern. Who you're gonna say this to whether it's a second person singular or plural and if you remember non-focus so the second person singular and plural have to be in the non-focus meaning you have to use their ergative forms okay and then we'll go through that in a future video and finally it expresses or triggers the imperatives right so when we're using aya we have to use an imperative after um, we can use imperative affixes after it and again i'll show you that in future videos but for this video we're concentrating on just this not want or rejection as a verb with aya aya not as an imperative can be can be expressed as here right basi mo aya ayo siya unta sa imong hatagan Maybe maybe she will reject later on your um, your gift or whatever you're gonna give to her, right? So maybe she's gonna reject whatever you're gonna give to her later. Basi maybe mo ayo ayo reject probably we reject. You can you don't need to reduplicate it, but it's you know it makes it makes more sense to reduplicate it. But again, it also makes perfect sense to just say mo ayo. Um, to not reduplicate this word. Now remember, if you're reduplicating a word, it just uh, it just adds more emphasis of just not wanting something. Okay. She right. Basimo aya ayo siya unta. Oh, actually, this actually should be unya. Sorry about that. So it should be unya, not unta. But you get the gist. Okay. So. Basi mo aya ayaw siya unya sa imong hatagan later on to your um, to your giving or whatever you're gonna give to her, right? Or whatever present you're gonna give to her, or whatever, right? Maybe she might not like it. Who knows? We don't know. Um, and then the last sentence is mag ayaw si Inda Roberta kay kabaluni mo nga wala siya ganahan sa mga galletas, dulce, torta, or pastillas. Pero dili siya mo ayaw sa tortilla ni mo. So this person is stating that, you know, mag, uh, mag ayaw si Inday Roberta kay kabalunin mo nga wala siya ganahan. Okay? So, 
in that Roberta is not gonna is not gonna want or is gonna reject or not gonna like whatever you're gonna whatever you're gonna give to her as well because you know well that um she doesn't like now we already talked about wala right wala and wala means it's in the um not existing or not wanting in the uh completed aspect so this happened already in the past in the completed right she doesn't want or she doesn't like or she didn't moreover more correctly she didn't like or she doesn't like right galleta, <clears throat> so she doesn't like cookies dulce is candy torta is uh is cake or i think it's like cakes yeah um cakes are that kind of matter um, pastillas is more like sweets kind of like a sweet um what you call like a sweet confection confectionaries yeah um confectionaries pero delicia mo ayaw sa tortilla ni mo but she she won't reject your omelet tortilla is an omelet so pero delicia mo ayaw sa sa tortilla ni mo so whatever you're going to cook her that's an omelet she's not going to reject it delicia mo ayaw okay and i hope this can kind of give you some insight with this ayaw again this is just part one of whatever is going to come up of this ayaw <laughs>